Leopards, beautiful spotted fur, and stealthy movements immediately spring to mind. However, there are more to these mysterious felines than meets the eye. The biology of leopards, from their imposing size to their extraordinary hunting prowess, is absolutely fascinating. The leopard, Panthera partis, is divided into nine distinct subspecies. Africa is home to Panthera partis partis, Arabia to Panthera partis nimra, Central Asia to Panthera partis saxicolor, Java to Panthera partis melas, Sri Lanka to Panthera partis cotia, the Indian subcontinent to Panthera partis fusca, Southeast Asia to Southern China to Panthera partis delicori, Japan to Panthera partis japonensis, and Northeastern China to Panthera partis orientalis. So, where do these big cats live? Leopards are found in many different environments. Mesic forests, grassy savannas, and forests are where you'll find the majority. They're also found in rocky, scrubby, and arid environments. They are tree-loving animals that have been spotted as high as 5,638 meters on Mount Kilimanjaro. Let us now focus on their physique and biological makeup. Leopards' body size and coat coloration likely reflect adaptations to different habitats. Compared to their large bodies, leopard legs are quite short. Their large skulls and wide faces provide them with formidable jaw muscles. Climbing muscles have dedicated attachment sites on the leopard's scapula. Their eyes are shielded by long whiskers in their eyebrows and long whiskers that extend from dark patches on their top lip as they move through the dense foliage. In warm, dry environments, the coat is tawny or light yellow, whereas in deep forests, it's rusty orange. Subspecies can be identified based on their distinct coat patterns. Black rosettes cover the entire body. Those found in East Africa are round, whereas those in South Africa are square. They add a ridged tail and solid black patches on their chest, feet, and face. A cub's coat is smoky gray, and its rosettes are still developing. Each cat can be recognized by his or her distinctive coat. Black panthers, sometimes known as leopards, with recessive melanistic genes thrive in tropical rainforests. In general, leopards found in savannas and woodlands are larger than those found in mountains and deserts. The sex difference in leopards is reflected in the size difference between sexes. Women might weigh 17 to 58 kilograms in weight and 1.7 to 1.9 meters in height. Males can be anywhere from 31 and 65 kilograms and 1.6 and 2.3 meters in height. The leopard's keen sense of hearing is only matched by its sharp vision. Their acute hearing allows them to pick up the faintest sounds of motion. They can locate possible prey or identify the presence of competitors or hazards thanks to their keen hearing. The ability to produce many distinct sounds is another extraordinary adaptation. Leopards use a wide range of sounds such as roars, grunts, growls, purrs, and hisses as a means of communication. These calls serve a variety of functions ranging from attracting mates and marking territories to discouraging competition and displaying aggressive intent. Leopards are successful communicators because of their unique vocal repertoire, which helps them effectively navigate their social and ecological environments. Leopards have strong, keen teeth that they use to rend and shred prey. Because of the length and sharpness of their canine teeth, they can kill their prey by biting them squarely in the throat or neck. They can quickly kill their prey using these razor-sharp teeth and powerful jaw muscles. So what about their reproduction habits? Both male and female leopards have several partners because of their promiscuous nature. Females urinate pheromones to entice potential suitors. The female goes back and forth in front of the male, brushing up against him and perhaps smacking him with her tail to get things started. The male then mounts the female and repeatedly bites the nape. The average length of a copulation is three seconds, and there's a six-minute pause between seconds. Over the course of several days, a breeding pair may share food while copulating as many as 100 times. 
The rainy season in May marks the height of the reproductive season, which lasts all year. Leopards primarily breed in January and February in China and southern Siberia, respectively. Estros lasts for seven days in women, and their monthly cycle averages 46 days. Females typically only give birth once every 15 to 24 months, and the gestation period lasts 96 days. Around the age of 8.5, most girls reach reproductive maturity. Leopard cubs are born weighing less than one kilogram, and their eyes are not open for at least a week. Mothers can spend up to 36 hours away from their cubs while they go on hunts and forages, leaving them in safe havens such as thick brushes, rock clefts, or hollow tree trunks. To protect their babies from larger predators such as lions, they frequently change their location. Cubs start eating solid food between the ages of 6 and 8 weeks and start walking around 2 weeks old. Mothers feed their cubs slightly more than one-third of what they eat. Weaning is completed by the third month, and by the time they are under two years old, the cubs are fully independent. Siblings often stay in touch during their transition to adulthood. Young individuals may choose to remain in their birth territory for a certain period of time. Now, let's discuss how long these cats live. The oldest leopard ever recorded was 27 years old and could live up to 23 years of age in captivity. The oldest leopard ever recorded was 17 years old, while the average lifespan of a wild leopard is estimated to be between 10 and 12 years. The average cub survival rate is 41%. Leopards are solitary carnivores that are active at night. Although they occasionally hunt on cloudy days, they are primarily nocturnal in human-populated areas. They use vocalizations such as growling, roaring, and spitting to express anger contentment, leaving scent markings of urine, feces, and claws on their territory. They also use a loud raspy cough to alert other members of their species to their presence. Leopards prefer to forage in the lower forest canopy and typically make a headfirst descent from upper levels. They can swim adequately and are at ease in the water. Leopards walk slowly and crouch while hunting. They are capable of bursting speeds up to 60 km per hour, and they can horizontally and vertically leap over 6 and 3 meters respectively. Leopards are only partially dependent on drinking water because they may obtain what they need from their food. Leopards can see and hear exceptionally well for their size, which makes them ideal woodland predators. Now, moving on to eating habits. Leopards are opportunistic hunters capable of adapting their hunting strategies to various environments and prey availability. Their incredible patience and stealth play crucial roles in their success. Leopards are known to silently stalk their prey, carefully closing in on their targets before launching a lightning-fast attack. Leopards use excellent camouflage to sneak up on their prey without suspecting something. They can cover great distances in a short amount of time using their muscular rear legs to produce accurate and powerful leaps. This sudden burst of speed and agility gives them an edge in the climactic moments of the hunt by catching their prey by surprise. Leopards close down their prey and use their formidable jaws and retractable claws to restrain them. They typically aim for the neck to sever the spinal cord and ensure a quick and compassionate death by suffocation. To protect their kills from scavengers, leopards can drag carcasses several times their own weight into trees, demonstrating their amazing power. Leopards do not necessarily need to eat recently killed prey. It's difficult to adjust to new situations. They've been seen to scavenge food, often consuming carcasses left by larger predators such as lions and hyenas. Their ability to adapt feeding strategies to different situations is crucial for their survival. Leopards are solitary predators, meaning they forage for food on their own. In this way, they can enjoy their kill with as little interference as possible. It also discourages large predators from swiping their prizes. In terms of transporting their kills, leopards are renowned for their superhuman power and dexterity. They have the strength to hoist up trees and carcasses, weighing up to three times their own weight. This behavior has various functions. 
They do this to prevent scavengers from eating their kill and to provide themselves with a safe place to eat that's high above any potential danger on the ground. They can avoid other predators that can try to steal food while eating in the woods. They are mainly active at dawn and dusk, earning them the moniker Crepuscular Predators. This strategy helps them out because they can hide in the dark while still being able to see well because of dwindling light. They can escape other predators that are more active at the same time of day or night by shifting their schedules. It's important to remember that leopards' hunting and eating habits might shift slightly depending on where they live and what kind of food is available. Their capacity to adapt and prosper in a variety of habitats, from deep forests to open grasslands, is a key factor for their continued existence. Leopards typically target small antelopes, gazelles, deer, pigs, primates, and domestic cattle as their primary prey. They are opportunistic carnivores that feed on anything available, including birds, reptiles, rodents, anthropods, and carrion. Leopards typically consume animals that weigh 10 to 40 kilograms. They've been observed picking among the trash left behind by cheetahs, lone hyenas, and even smaller animals. They may continue hunting even if they've already hidden several kills. They are truly an amazing creation of nature, but currently, they're also one of the most endangered species around the world. If we do not stop encroaching on their territory, their survival might be at risk.